day and age we're living in today, things just seem to go this way often. I don't want to sneeze. <coughs> so many people think the grass is going to be greener. So many people have this grass the grass is greener syndrome until they realize the grass was never really greener. Like, bro, you, if you have something good in your life and it's good, do not mess that up. I don't care if you're a guy. I don't care if you're a girl. I don't care what you are. Don't mess that up. But so many people today have the grass ain't green or has the grass is greener syndrome they think the grass is greener but it ain't it never usually is i seen this lady on a podcast yesterday and she even admitted yeah the grass ain't always greener but i'm gonna go anyways and i'm gonna find out you see what i'm saying And I truly believe it's the day and age we're living in today as to why you will see this happen very, very often. It used to be a rare occasion if stuff like that happened. But with how the world has changed, we have so much access to so many human beings, bro. We have access to people all over the world, bro. I, I'm in conversations with people from one end to, from one end of the world to the other to the other to the other to the other all ends of the world there's there, we got we got people everywhere bro we got chicks trying to move out here we got we got we got stuff happening all the time it's crazy so i believe this is why so many people have this grass the grass might be greener syndrome but it really usually never is if you have something good. I'm not stupid enough that if I have something really good that I'm not going to think, oh, there might be something better. That's just greed. It's stupidity is what it is. You have something really good, bro, you hold on to that. If you have something good going on with somebody else, you hold on to that. You make it good. You make it better. You don't think so greedy-ish. In, in such a greedy way, thinking, oh, well, there might be something else. Oh, well, there might be something else. <clears throat> and you know, this almost never happens with guys. It usually happens with girls because of how much other men in the world would want her, especially if you're a good-looking female. You, the world is at your fingertips. If you're a male, you have to be top of the top of the top of the creme to even be like that at all. Which is why it's rare that it happens with men. Usually when men have something really good, they keep it. Even majority of pro athletes, bruh, that are making the millions upon millions upon millions and multis of millions, they're rich. They're six feet fucking five or six or some shit like that. They're there. They got it all. They'll even keep what's good. When there's a pool of pretty women they could have, they'll even keep what's good. But women tend to do this very often. There's always something better. There's always something else they can do because they get bored very easily. All to find out, damn, what I had was really good. And it can really come back to bite them, bro. Like, I don't want to make this just about females, but I'm trying to explain something here from real life experience, bro. When they're young and they have it really good with you, it's kind of their first time seeing things and stuff like that and, and whatever. They don't realize how blessed... They might have been with you until they don't have you for a little while, maybe a year, two, three, something like this. They think the grass might be greener when they each day that starts to go by after that time, 
they want you more and more and more and damn 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 there's nothing else out there that even was even close to what I had shit and now they come running back and by that time you can no longer take them back because the respect is gone if you don't respect a human being you can't be with a human being you have to have respect for somebody to be with them if you're angry at somebody if you even have some bitterness towards somebody if you're mad at somebody bro you can't be with them you just can't it's not gonna work because of what happened when people cross that line there's still going to be a party that obviously cares about the person. But you can't be with them. It's done. It's over. Because of the grass might be greener syndrome. It happened. So if someone is that quick to exit your existence and just leave you whoosh, high and dry. As if they're easily going to find something that, that might be a lot greener. Bruh, how can you respect someone like that when they show you that those intentions? You can't. The answer is you can't. Oh, take her back. Oh, take her back. You got those people in your ear. Oh, take her back. You're out of your fucking mind. Taking nobody back. Because now for me... I've improved myself, and this is what you think. My value is far superior to hers, or if you're a girl, to his. I can't respect them. They did a shade. They they did some shady shit. Now I'll give myself something much better. It's more respectable. And they're going to have to pay and suffer the consequences of losing out on something really, really good that was really, really good for them. All because they shattered into a million pieces that crystal ball of loyalty. Shattered. They showed you their true intentions, bro. When you see someone's true intentions, and they're willing to step out like that on something that was so good. You have to show them. You can't reward that type of stuff. It's done. Have fun gluing the pieces back together of that crystal ball that we call of loyalty. Because we see now. We see those people can't be trusted, bruh. I'm telling you, not one of them can be trusted. You just don't do that. You don't create connections and become so close to just cut it off and, and, and disappear to thin air. You don't do that. It's a huge no. And for anybody else to be around you telling you to take them back as well, they're also red flags, bro. They're not worth a shit. Don't trust them either. They ain't with you. They ain't your boy. They ain't your family. They ain't with you. They don't get it. So, I think, in general today, this is a huge problem in the world. Not just with you, not just with me. We've all might have experienced this at some point. I've experienced it once. Maybe twice. Made them both regret it, both times. Good. You deserve that. Awesome. I don't want you. You're ugly to me now. But... In the world, man, this happens so much, all the time. You have these girls speaking out publicly 
Yeah, the grass might not be greener, and but I want to find out. Of course they do. They don't care. They don't care. We are in a world now, ladies and gentlemen. We are living in the opportunist world. We're living in the world that lacks loyalty. Once you get it, you can absolutely have it, but that's the point. Loyalty still exists. It always will. But we are living in such an opportunistic world. Everyone's looking for the opportunity. People will be with you to benefit from you and stab you in the back to get a new opportunity to realize, oh shit, that opportunity was not nearly as good. Damn, now I gotta go back. And when you come back, that opportunity is no longer there because you messed it up. It's like getting a loan from the bank. You don't pay it back, now you can't get another loan. The bank don't want to deal with you no more. Nobody wants to deal with you, your ass no more. You're for the streets. Don't try and get a loan off a broker or some shit. And be paying, you'll be paying more of a price. This is how it is, man. So, you have to continue to work hard on yourself. Let the right things fall into place. And if people show you their true colors, bro, and it's not good, you gotta kick them to the curb. You gotta drop them like a hot rock. You pick up a hot rock, ow! You drop it immediately. That's how fast you drop that. I've had many situations where people messed stuff up with me, bro, and it was unnecessary. It didn't have to go that way. At all. But they were so stupid and so immature. And they'll never admit to the wrongdoings. They'll never admit it. They know deep down inside, damn. And they talk to themselves and they know what they did wrong and all this, but they'll never admit it. They'll never come up to, to you maturely or even over a text or even over a call or anything and, and let you know because they're too fucking prideful. You kick people like that to the curb, bro. They could do no wrong to nobody. It's how they felt. They don't care about you. It was all about them. When you deal with people, bro, there's two people. That's what a lot of people in the world don't understand. Man, when I deal with anybody, there's another person involved. It's not just me. There's two people involved. I always take how others feel into consideration because I'm not going to go around hurting everybody. I want to benefit people, bro. How can you be a good person in this world if you're no beneficial to nobody? If you're so ignorant, unwilling to do nothing for nobody, you don't care how nobody feels. You're all about yourself, right? How can you do any good in the world like this, being that type of a person? Many females today are that way, bro. Many. So immature. Especially the prettiest ones. So arrogant. You can get the best looking dudes on earth and they're not that way. Only you beautiful women have that privilege. Nobody else. It's ridiculous. So when you see people acting this way, bro, don't even bother with them. Let people shoot themselves hard in the foot. Hard. Let it hurt. Let it sting. Because they go around stinging everybody else, bro. They're going to get stung. They're going to get stung. When you act that way and you're that type of person, you're going to get smoked. You're not even going to see what's coming. And as time goes on, it only gets starts to get worse for those types of people. It's all fine and dandy while they're doing their do when, when they're doing their dues. It's all fine and dandy. Life's good. Life's good. Life's good. You wait. Suck me so good. When you get rejected, how's it feel? It's not gonna be so good. 
when you get up there in age. You will not be desired like you used to be. At all. And things go very bad for them, bro. They develop a mindset of such... Of such greed and, and the way they act, the way they behave, it's, it's, it's nuts. You can be way better than her and she'll act as if not. Because that's, that's how much attention and stuff she gets from other people. But individually, you smoke her, bro. There's levels to life, man. You could be up here. You, there could be a female down here. But she gets so much attention because she's a female. That her head is huge. And the way you think, like, she'd be lucky to have an opportunity with me. Lucky. But they don't act that way. Because her heads are huge from all the attention they get. They're desired a lot. As a young, beautiful woman, you'll be desired a lot because guys want to what? <sighs> they want to get up in there, bruh. That's what they want. Not even all those guys want want you want, want you to, to, to be their girlfriend. Most of those guys want to smash. So their heads become huge. Yeah, all the guys want me and all that stuff. And every other guy is just like anything else to them. It's crazy. But this is how it is, bro. This is the day and age we're living in. Things have changed. Female behavior has changed. Females have become more manipulative and toxic. For how things are, social media benefits women, bro. Things like Instagram, Facebook... Snapchat, all those things. It benefits women. And the idiots are going to play the game. I don't play the game, bro. I only play to win. I'm not playing these games. I ain't fighting for you. Give it a little bit of time. You'll be crying for me. Which, have all, which has already happened. This is why I'm informing you guys about this stuff. They think the grass is greener, bro. They think they're going to act all like that. Wait till time goes on just a little bit. It's not good. And you don't feel one bit sorry or bad for them. See ya. It was nice knowing you. Well, I knew you. And some of you guys can say, oh, you're bitter, man. Oh, that's bitter. Oh, uh, 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 uh. No. Because I don't feel nothing towards them. I do what's right as a human being, bro. I do what's right as a human being. If you do me wrong, how can I do you right when you do me wrong? I'm not stupid. People will do you wrong and be like, Oh, you're so bitter now. Oh, 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 oh. You gaslighting fuck. What do you want me to do? They expect you to just play their game. They expect you to just accept them. No. No. I'm not doing that dumb shit. You're not going to disrespect me. Ever in your life. Don't even come near me. Don't look at me. Don't come in my sight. I don't want to see you. This is real shit, bro. This is how it has to be. You have to hold people accountable for their actions. If your best mate stole from you, would you ever look at him the same as your best mate? Never again in your life. Never. Never again in your life. You can't. Same with her. And if you're a girl, same with that guy. That did you wrong, right? You could never look at these people the same, bro. It's not even about being bitter. It's about doing the right thing as a human fucking being. And standing your ground, having a backbone. You're not no person to just be someone. Someone accept me. You're not. You're not just there for the taking, bro. You have value. Some people can make terrible mistakes. You might have to be the person that teaches them how bad of a, of a mistake they made, and they might teach their daughters or sons whenever they. Whenever they get older, what not to do. Don't do this, because I've done this and it was bad. You might want to teach your people these things, you know. 
to never do that shit again. People stupid, bro. <laughs> People like to ruin good shit. And it's the entitlement today. It's the social media bullshit today. It used to be we just see people in real life. When you get something, you don't take it for granted. When you see something good, you're going to capitalize. You're going to be loyal. You're going to love the person. But now, we have access to everybody at all times, 24 hours a day, bro. Look at what's going on. Look at what is going the fuck on. People can change up on you any single day they want. There's so many options. There's so many options for me. There's so many options for you. But at the end of the day, it's about doing the right fucking things. But not everybody's about that life. I'm not focused on so many people or so many options, bro. <sighs> Focus on myself. You should be focused on yourself. We become the best we can be. And we don't take for granted what is. We have to live life the natural way, man. None of this bullshit. It's all fucking bullshit, man. I want to be a front runner for all this stuff to come to an end, but unfortunately, I will I will convince some people 100%. I'll open some people's eyes, but I'll never be able to fix the entire world. There's always going to be snakes. There's always going to be these devious people. Devious, bro. There's always going to be these people. Someone's always going to do somebody wrong when it didn't have to happen that way. It's immaturity. It's them thinking in their minds. You know what they're thinking in their minds? They convince themselves, I'm actually never going to deal with this person again. That's why I don't care if I do them so wrong. Because I'm going to do them so wrong and I'm going to take off. That's what they thought, bro. That's why you can never look at people like that the same ever again. That do you so dirty. So cold. They leave you outside freezing to death. How can you ever look at a person like that again? The same. You can't. They're done. <laughs> and oh my God. We're so bitter, right? It's the people that would call us so bitter. I don't care if you're the person that has done it. I don't care if you're just an, an, another person watching this video thinking, oh my God, he's just so bitter. You're the fucking type of scumbag that has done something like this before. I already know that for a fact. And this video does not relate to you. It relates to you from you doing it to somebody else. And that's why people like that will say things like that to gaslight you, bro. I'm not the bad guy. I don't deal with shit like this. I'm about my real life shit. And I do what's right. I ain't doing nobody wrong. I do what's right. And if I stand firm in my, firm in my ground... And stay strict and don't let people take advantage of me or get over on me if that makes me bitter that goes to show how many effed up people there are in this world bro those are the people that want you to let your guard down so they can do whatever they want to you they don't know what being serious is like they don't know what loyalty is like they don't know what none of that stuff is like because they're all damaged and they want to gaslight you they want to project on you and say all this crazy stuff Making you try to make trying to trying to convince you that that you are bitter or you are crazy or, or something like this when they are the ones, bruh. I think we're perfectly fine, man. We just know what we're doing. We just know what we're doing. We ain't dealing with people like that. Oh, you're bitter just because you don't want me. That makes you bitter. <laughs> you sound stupid as fuck. You sound stupid as F. You all do. Anybody who has that mindset towards people with this mindset, you all sound stupid. You are the ones that are evil and manipulative. I don't deal with evil, manipulative people. You make me want to take your head clean off. Care who you are. Stay around me long enough, you will be beheaded. Because you're fucking demons, bro. And I'm a demon slayer. It's people like you that make me feel some type of way. I'd be so peaceful in life. There wasn't serpents like you in the world, but unfortunately there is, so I'm on guard sometimes. And it's all you people. 
that are always doing something bad or saying something negative or gaslighting somebody or manipulating somebody, doing something to, to crazy make. You're crazy makers. <laughs> Some of these women rather be... <clears throat> I, I seen a woman on a podcast too, and, and I was about to end the video, but I'll say this real quick. There's a woman on a podcast, right? And she's t talked about, yeah, she built up her husband and stuff like this. She dated this guy. She built up her husband. She got married. She had a kid with this guy. She built him up. And later on proceeded to say, yeah, you know, I divorced him and I'm divorced now and stuff. And I'm not with him no more. And never, ever will I, will I be with him again and all this stuff. And she was going on saying stuff like this, right? And the guys in the podcast was like, oh, I thought you built him up. Yeah, but he became a, he was a Jekyll Hyde. He became an alcoholic and stuff like this. Are you serious, bro? Why do you guys think this guy became so crazy? He, he was so nice and, and, and charming and stuff at first, but he became an alcoholic and, and I built him up. I built him up, but he became an alcoholic and stuff like this. What does this tell you guys? She drove him nuts. That's how she built him up. She drove him nuts and she bounced. That's what women will do to men. They gaslight the ever-living shit out of them, bro. And then blame them. Oh, he's crazy. They'll just poke and poke and poke and poke and poke and poke. And when you poke back, oh, you're crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, you're crazy. <laughs> oh, you're crazy. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. This shit's hilarious, but that's how it really be, man. That's how it really be. And I'm still not making excuses at the same time for this guy because if you were so good at first and you, you get your girl and stuff, you have a kid and you become an alcoholic and you start become, to become abusive, it's still your fault as well. But she definitely had a huge part in this. You never let a woman lead, bruh. Never. She had control the whole time. You don't put yourself in that position as a man. Ever in your life. Never. But anyways, guys, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like the damn video, bruh. I'll be back.